I was just Ebebe pim ewo Madina embo ntenso aha aha ena eye mezbe o nyuntu ni mezbe o ni mame a ena edafo ni mame ni mpompa ena edafo mwende ombo ye ne ye busia eye ye ne ye ewo ha inti nde we eye ufo som a ekoso ewo Madina eh Madina praise be aso dem inti jembre na yon fam fame na she don't forget to subscribe na wa like na wa share na ma po fo so huni ekoso ewo mezbe o mame eye ase minia yon kwe ni
Uh, that's why the challenge is. I never put that problem. How such a beautiful relationship, uh, having such a beautiful relationship with you. It is something that extends beyond my world as well. And I thank God for the experience. In times of uncertainty, I stood by my side, sharing the world and reminding me that I was never alone. Your belief in my ability is still a sense of confidence that I carry into every event. You taught me the value of anger and determination. And I strive to live with my own consequences as I reflect. As I reflect on the moment to share, go to the person and never the phone. I realize that my love for you is a Christian. With small little moments, the last and deep conversations are things that I go through. Also, to share the lives and the colors. And I want to thank you for every moment we created together. I will miss you all the words of this verse. Now, to the world, you are one person. To me, you are my love. You thought to me about patience and endurance, especially endurance. You celebrated my successes and gently guided me through my mistakes with grace and understanding. Without you, I wouldn't be the person I am today, and I wouldn't have the love of grace. You were everything to me and more, and there is no one I could ever identify the importance you held in my life. You taught me how to embrace life fully. And I promise to carry your legacy forward. Today, my heart bleeds. No matter my age, I will always be not. No matter how I miss you, 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 I'm never ending for successions. For everything, for your health, so my love life. Nothing will ever replace you. Absolutely no way. One lesson that will forever resonate with me is your saying, Bella, you are right, however. It is not what you say, but just how you say it. Thank you, Lord. Yes, please do me the person of the Lord. Glory. That your love and wisdom will forever guide you. Amen. 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 The last time I received a message from my grandma was Friday, the 19th of July, 2024. If ever there was a day when nobody else sent me a message, rest assured, my grandma would. Days go by where I'd go on my phone expecting to see a message from her, usually given thanks for another day or reminding me to enjoy life to the fullest. But as I open my WhatsApp, I'm suddenly struck by the reality that I will never receive a message like that from her again. My grandma was a woman who was filled with joy. Any occasion was a reason for celebration. Even to the extent that on my or my mother's birthday, my grandma would invite her friends around and celebrate as if it were her birthday. My grandma also made sure to give me anything I wanted. One of my fondest memories are from when I was around seven or maybe eight. I had been begging my mom to let me get away from the extension I did on, and she never let me. As soon as we got to Ghana, 
It was time to be my hand, and my grandma was left with the responsibility of taking me. She asked me what style I wanted. I told her, and she made it happen for me. I'm not sure what the conversation was between her and my mom after that. But from that day forth, my mom finally allowed me to get grades with extensions on a regular basis. The passing of my grandmother really hurt. As I sat on the plane to Rana in July, it occurred to me that I didn't have a picture of us together. So I made it my mission to get one. I had it all planned out in my head. I'd get to her house in East Lagos and pull outside, hello grandma. And as I walk in, I'd be greeted with welcome mommy, cancer mom, and the warmness of her love. As I'm getting ready to leave, after spending hours with her, I say, Grandma, let's take a picture and we put on our best smiles and I make sure her cute gap teeth was on display. Get to my dismay. Seeing her again was nothing like how I imagined it. In fact, my family cared for and loved me so, so dearly that I felt it. Reminded me of how beautiful I was every time she saw a new picture of me and being sure to let it be known that I must have one and only granddaughter who she cherished and valued so much. And the plenty of times she would cry out, love you, and send it to me via WhatsApp. Even in her last days, I believe she loved me the same way. So much so that she held on long enough for me to be able to visit her in the hospital before going to meet her makeup the very next day. Grandma Charlotte, you are loved, this and never ever be forgotten. I told you that all the memories that remain of you close to my heart forever and ever. Rest in perfect eternal peace. Amen. At least we could all tell the pain in the heart of the God. Thank <laughs> you. 